Hey, what is up guys? And today we're going to be maidening the Zod Nano Talon. Now, this is my second ever wing to fly and the first with an inbuilt gyro stabilization system, which kind of works like a flight controller uh, with a gyro and it kind of fixes its orientation. So I'm going to be flying it in the beginner mode, which it handles everything for me even the launch itself. All I have to do is apply throttle and just toss it in the air. Now once tossed in the air, this thing just takes right off, which is really amazing. And I really don't have to fight it to try to keep it up. And it just stays up absolutely beautiful, as you can tell from the video feed here. Now I do have, what I have connected on these old nano talent here is the Hawkeye Firefly 8SE action camera, which I truly believe is a really, really nice camera. And I'm really finding myself reaching out for it quite often now. And for the internal FPV setup, I decided to go with the Hawkeye Firefly fortress now this is a $31 combo that takes such a small footprint and got me to a minimum of one kilometer of range which is kind of remarkable for it's such tiny size and that VTX has just takes a 5 volt and it broadcasts is up to 200 milliwatts I got really good range like perfect video feed the whole time however there was at times where I also got in these little lines that would just appear and go it's not noise it's something from the software side as i believe uh, it could be from something that's sinking or something of that nature now as you can tell here it was there was quite a bit of wind here and uh the the airplane was a bit nose heavy because of the action cam and i did find it constantly trying wanting to bank to the left quite often um and um but i would just e easily fix that over i didn't try to do any trims because i think someone said don't use trims when you're on this uh type of level here which is the beginner mode. Um, as you can tell here, I was just flying absolutely phenomenally. Uh, I really did enjoy it, and it gave me a long flight time. I used a 1500 milliamp Boris LiPo, uh, which was really, really good. And I, I never even killed the battery. I would fly, I flew maximum of 15 minutes, but I could fly even more. But then I just landed uh, just to double check everything, and I wanted to switch to 4K. And I wish I didn't do that because. Uh, I went ahead and uh, basically ripped my antennas apart when I crash landed uh, the second time out. Actually, right when I threw it, I kind of threw it wrong and it kind of just dropped down. But overall, it was a very, it's not very fast. It's just very tameable, controllable, and just enjoyable. Uh, you're not really stressed while you're flying it. You're just really relaxing and just taking a look at the scenery here. Now, the, the Fortress camera was really good, but I think I can find a little bit better camera for a better image quality to kind of just appreciate the view a little bit more. Um, but I need to look for a cam, which which this Zod Nano Talon will be my camera tester, my FPV camera tester for the channel as well as some of the long range or we could say mid range stuff I will be going out further later on once I build more trust into everything that I'm using because I am currently using the FR Sky R9M and uh, I just want to do a quick run so I can test the R9M on the Fly Sky, which we've modded previously. So if you're new to the channel, I modded the cheap $50 Fly Sky transmitter to run the TBS Crossfire. And theoretically, sh it should also run the FR Sky R9M modules, uh, which will be upcoming very soon where I test this. I will go to a maximum of one kilometer range like I did here, just because I really don't want to lose it. And it's the only one that I currently am building a lot of trust in and it's only again my second uh airplane or rc fixed wing of that nature which to be honest i'm really really enjoying especially with this beginner mode uh later on i'll be taking it a little bit further with disabling beginner mode and installing inav in this thing uh but overall it flew really nice now i've seen a lot of people complain on my first video uh just saying that it's 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 just it's really unstable but i find it to be pretty stable but again i'm not really experienced in wings enough but as a beginner person and as something that i'm building quite a lot of trust in it's looking really great i really did enjoy it and the speed is is phenomenal it flies and it can fly at some very low speeds without falling over well i mean that at least that's in beginner mode i don't know if it's gonna stall on me anytime soon but it was just, uh, it was really nice. It was really nice. I was trying to understand to, to dial in the expos for this just to try to get a, you know, a much smoother turning radius. And I was just practicing these kinds of things on this also. Now, um, it didn't do anything weird out of the box. But what I noticed is if you switch between the modes, sometimes, you know, make sure you have your, your, your plane not in a very sticky situation. Because when you switch from uh, the advanced mode to the back to the beginner mode, um, it will not take any of your input for a good possibly one to two seconds, which was really scary at times until I figured it out and I took I went a little bit higher just to double check it 
and it was doing that. Uh, now, f for me, this was really nose heavy because I, I did have the, the, the action camera in the front and there isn't really much of anything inside the back area to kind of compensate for that weight. But even though it felt really good in the air, um, it was really stable, it was really controllable, it was tameable, it was relaxing, it was just an awesome little flight as you can tell from the video feed, which I really totally enjoyed. And soon I'll be setting up the iNav, but I'm kind of thinking of purchasing another one just because um, I don't. I, I have a feeling that once I set up iNav in the beginning steps that I might end up breaking it, you know, trying to do the launch control and these types of things. So that's something that I'm a little bit worried about and um, I'm still debating on how I should handle that. Um, but overall, for, you know, your first wing, I, th I think from my personal experience, because this is basically almost considered like one of my first wings, um, it's it's really it's a really good solution. I mean the 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 amount the the setup time was absolutely phenomenal. It was very easy to set up. You didn't have to play with mixers. Just install the channels correctly and just put your battery and just go fly. It's really insane. You know, just receiver, bind your receiver, put your battery and fly. If you wanted to add FPV, all you got to do is just give it voltage to your VTX and your your camera and you're good to go. And everything inside uh, is really well made. However, one of the wings is kind of a little bit, I wouldn't say loose, but it doesn't hold as strong as the other wing. So just take that into consideration. I've seen this on a couple people's videos who said this. So what you want to do is you want to just make sure which wing is holding best and that's the wing you want to throw from. Try not to throw it from the bottom because you could possibly clip your hand with the propeller, even though it's a low KV propeller and a low KV motor, um, it's it's overall, its speed was pretty decent and I set it up on a 4S, it's rated for a 3S, but I, all I have is 4S's and I also wanted to find something that will actually use up my leftover packs from my quadcopters once I crash all of them or something happens, so I don't go and waste them in a discharge. Now this isn't the fastest airplane, I can tell you that right now, but coming in from one that has no stabilization of anything of whatsoever, uh, this is a really, really nice and beautiful experience. However, take something into consideration because as soon as I took off, I crashed this thing. And why did I do that? Not because of its fault or anything. My pitch was inverted. So when I pulled the stick down, it would go down. When I pulled the stick up, it would go up. And I like to fly that inverted. So I had to invert that in the controller. So I just set my weight to a negative 100 instead of 100%. And uh, after that, it was just, uh, I was just really having fun. It was just... Um, really relaxing and really enjoyable um, and uh, I can see it being a platform for really nice mid to long range testing which is what is being planned for this one but um, overall it was really fun it was really enjoyable and you guys check it out for yourself and I think I would totally recommend it for a beginner because I am a beginner as well and I was able to just sit and enjoy it without a lot of fussing and well that's going to conclude it for my video guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one peace out